159. Yeah, call internal. Bond signature start. 150. Securing Centaur LH2. Securing Centaur LO2. 140. Launch enabled. T minus 90 seconds. The launch vehicle, payload, ground systems, and eastern range are go for launch. One twenty. OC is armed. SCS count started. One fifteen. Reduce ECS for launch. Roger. One ten. Ten thousand lock. T minus one minute. T minus one minute. Range green. Forty seconds. Stable at step three. Verify ECS reduced for launch. Verify it. Seconds. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Silent Barker and ROL 107. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. We have ignition. 2, 1 and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying Silent Barker NROL-107 for the National Reconnaissance Office and the United States Space Force. SRB chamber pressures continue to climb out. We have entered our first throttle bucket for the RD-180. Everything is looking good. Coming up on 30 seconds into the mission. PU has gone to closed loop control. And we've completed pitch program. Mach 1, vehicle is now supersonic. Coming up on max Q. Max dynamic pressure. And we're throttling up on the RD-80s. Still seeing a normal burn profile on the SRBs. In 10 seconds, we'll be throttling down for SRB burnout. Body rates look good, acceleration looks good. Throttling down in preparation for SRB burnout. You are hearing the voice of Rob Gannon providing launch vehicle ascent data. SRBs are rolling off. Burnout. All five SRBs are rolling off, approaching zero. RD-180 continues to operate normally. About 10 seconds to jettison. RD-180 continues to operate normally. And we have jettisoned all five SRBs. Vehicles now in closed loop guidance, as expected. RD-180 continues to operate normally. And executing the throttle profile as expected. We are two minutes to nominal BECO. The next event we're looking for is throttling down to to an G constant uh, acceleration in preparation for fairing separation. We 
fired the pyro valves, activating the reaction control system on the second stage, coming up on fairing jettison. Fairing jet. And see how far our separation is completed as well, throttling back up. This is Atlas Mission Control at T plus three and a half minutes. We just heard flight commentator Rob Gannon confirm the successful completion of the early phase of today's flight, and all systems continue to operate nominally. At this time, we'll end our live coverage. For more information on the Atlas V vehicle, visit ulalaunch.com. I'm Pam Ziert. Thank you for joining me this morning. Before we sign off, let's take another look at liftoff of the Atlas V rocket with Silent Barker. T-minus 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three. We have ignition, two, one, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying Silent Barker NROL 107 for the National Reconnaissance Office and the United States Space Force. SRB chamber pressures continue to climb out. We have entered our first throttle bucket for the RD-180. Everything is looking good. Coming up on 30 seconds into the mission. PU has gone to closed loop control. 